Hey guys, Jay Young here with Young Red Angus. Thank you so much for making this video right here a part of your day. Uh, before I get into today's video, I want to give you a quick update from last week's video. This is the bioreactor mentioned in last week's video. This is the first one that we've made for the year 2023. I made it on April 8th. And so um, right now, as I'm filming this, I believe this is the 18th. And so in 10 days, it's broken down enough that we can pop this top off fairly well. So as you can see on this, we already have mushrooms growing on the top of this bioreactor um, and the temperature is starting to come down. It, it peaked at 140. Um, we're down around 100 right now. And so I'm kind of excited about the, whoa, that was a wasp. <laughs> I'm excited about the, the progress of the, of the, uh, the bioreactor. And I just wanted to, to show you guys how it's going here in the beginning of this, this video. This video, we're doing something uh, exciting as far as I'm concerned if it works. So let's roll the intro and get into today's video. Today's episode is sponsored by Elevate Ag. Go to elevateag.com and check out their amazing products like the one we're talking about today, Elevated Fungi, and use promo code MAY2023 to get 5% off if you're a first-time buyer. That's MAY2023 for first-time buyers, 5% off. Check them out, elevateag.com. Okay, guys, in today's video, we're gonna do something that I got the idea from Oh, uh, Kyle Schnell. Yeah, Kyle Schnell is the one who, who put this idea inside of my my mind. I don't, and I don't know if he came up with it or if he got it from somewhere else, but Dan uh, Razor with Fed and Happy has been doing it as well. We are going to plant cover crops um, inside of our bioreactors that are now uh, 12 months old. They're, they're not quite 12 months old, but we're going to take oats, the oat cover crop mix, which also has flax, um, flax supports mycorrhizal fungus growth. And we have a product that I got from Elevate Ag. Uh, shout out to today's sponsor, Elevate Ag. Um, I've got a product from them. It's called Foundational Fungi. And this Foundational Fungi product has mycorrhizal fungus spores in it. So we're hoping that by treating these oat seeds uh, with this Foundational Fungi product, we're going to be able to begin to, to, to have fung... Uh, mycorrhizal fungal colonies growing within our bioreactors. So that's the whole process of what we're doing today. So um, I first had to get the oat cover crop mix. Luckily, uh, I was able to use some that we spilled on the ground so that didn't get to go to waste. And so right now I'm gonna treat that those oats with this foundational fungi product. So when you buy this product from Elevate Ag, ask for elevated fungi. So the idea is that we want to make sure that that gets soaked really well with Elevate Ag's Elevated Fungi um, to make sure that we're getting uh, the beneficial bacteria, fungus, specifically the mycorrhizal fungal spores that they have in this Elevated Fungi. Um, by the way, this is the only product, it was developed by Ryan Noss with We Grow With. This is the only product that I'm aware of um, on the market. I'm not saying it is the only product, it's just the only product I'm aware of where they're able to keep uh, the fungal spores within uh, the product um, on a shelf. So when you guys are going to go purchase your bugs in a jug, you need to ask how many active bacteria and fungus is in the jug and what their fungal counts are, or what their bacteria counts are. Um, if they don't have any fungal counts in it and there's only three bacteria species in it or six or whatever, then I would suggest looking into a product like Elevated Fungi Right now, my best looking compost is bioreactor number two, uh, which had the corn um, 
the 60% corn stalks, 20% uh, grass clippings, 10% horse manure, and 10% um, wood chips. And then my second best one is the um, the wheat straw one. It was, I believe, 80% wheat straw, 10% horse manure, 10% uh, wood chips. I, I don't, I, that might not be right, but anyway, those are the two best looking ones. Um, so th that's where I'm going to, to plant uh, the, these oats. And then what we'll do is I'm going to look into a way of being able to compare this one right here, which is bioreactor number three, I believe. Yeah, I'm positive this is three. So we'll compare it to three and to one um, and see what the difference is and see if we're able to actually um, tell if there's any uh, mycorrhizal fungus that we are able to add into these bioreactors. Um, and if, you know, if there's anything I learned that, that took away from it as well, so. Okay, so in doing that process, I got a bunch of flax seeds that stuck to my hand. So I'm gonna evenly place these uh, in those two bioreactors. Now we'll put the entire cover crop mix in and I'm gonna try to evenly uh, distribute the seeds across the top of the bioreactors. Bioreactor four already had a seed growing in it. Okay. Okay, we got the bioreactors uh, set up. I ended up doing more um, than I had planned. The ones that I don't know that they're really that great compost, I went ahead and treated seed and put those um, put seed in, in the tops of those as well because I'm not even sure how they're, well they're gonna turn out because they didn't break down well. But anyway, so we did left two really good bioreactors uh, that the compost is great with no seed and did two uh, that are looking really good and put seed on them and so in about six weeks or so, we'll, you know, try to look at this stuff under a microscope. I'm going to find um, someone to, to do that for me, and uh, we'll see how that changed the biology within these bioreactors. So, so look for the updated video uh, when we get the back the data on, on how well this worked. And that really kind of concludes today's video. Check out Elevate Ag uh, for more of their amazing products, and uh, keep pursuing soil health. That's all I have for you. Peace out. Action and compassion.